Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. All right, so many of you have asked about cleaning your tank sensors, because we all know that our sensors work, right? <laughs> ah. All right, well, what's going on with those sensors is, is, you know, well, there's particulates, right? It could be toilet paper or anything else. What takes place is those sensors are just a probe sticking inside the tank, okay? And since we got a probe sticking inside the tank, anytime we fill that up and we have any type of solid sitting up on top, what happens is, is as we begin to release that water, we, we open up the, the black tank, the water goes down, and once the water goes down, we get some solids that stick on top. Typically, it's gonna be toilet paper. Toilet paper wicks water, and what happens is, is it fools that sensor, and that sensor will say that you're two-thirds full when you're really not. So how do you clean those sensors, okay? Now, I've talked to you about the RV Digest It, and that's gonna break the solids down, but sometimes you need a little bit more help. Ta-da! So Unique also makes an RV tank cleaner. Now this is just basically about 15 times stronger than the Digest It. And what you do is you simply take the bottle and you pour it down the toilet. And then you fill that tank up and you let it sit overnight. This will break down all the solids around that sensor and clean that sensor off. Now is it 100% guaranteed? No, because you may have different particulates that may not get it. But for most of us, this is going ahead and clean it, right? And so this is one of the best ways. Let's back up. So if you have the internal probe sensors, that's really going to clean it. If you have something like sea level where you have those sensors on the outside, this isn't necessarily going to take care of that problem. A lot of times with our external sensors, they're maybe pulling away from the tank and we need to get back up there and reseal those. Now there's some thought out there about maybe putting ice in your, to um, in your toilet, let it flush it down. Guys, here's the problem with that. Well, you know, that ice has to cross across those sensors, and then of course you have to move that ice, otherwise it just sits still. The hardest part with that is, is knowing how much water we have in our tank and knowing how much ice to put in there. Too much ice, it's not gonna move at all. Too little ice, it'll just simply melt. So while there is some um, success by using ice, it's just more of the luck of the draw. Not only that, but you can't clean all three sensors. You got one at one third, one at two thirds, and one all the way up top. That means ice has to cross all of those. You have to drive like a maniac to try and move that ice. So the best thing to do is go ahead and get a product again that will help that bacteria, but also clean off those sensors. Again, Unique has a tank cleaner to go ahead and do that. Guys, you can get it on their site. Go there, you can go to Amazon, wherever quality Unique is sold. And just as a you know, reminder, don't use any chemicals that actually harm the bacteria. Don't put any tank cleaners in there outside of uh, the Unique. Don't, don't put in Drano or anything like that because that's what's going to kill that bacteria and you're going to get that solid waste problem over and over again. And there's your tech tip. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your rig, or let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, Head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs, and get started today. I've seen some, so, well, and it all depends. So, um, the, the, <laughs> through the magic of the TV, I lost that, right? It's gone. Ah. Okay, and so with that, I mean, you have to be a complete physicist in order to find out how much ice. Now, then you have to drive like a, like a, what, are, what do we call those things? Huh? How? <laughs> yeah, you gonna take up for me? So, okay, yeah. Is maniac still, you know, politically safe? All right, womanac instead of a maniac. See, just rest that one up. This is not a sponsored ad, at all, at all. Common sense care. Keep from freezing. <laughs> Yeah, so put the whole bottle in. Voila. Voila. <laughs> <Okay>. Viola. <laughs>